entropy change in an adiabatic process. An ideal diatomic gas has an initial volume B0 and temperature T0. It's taken through an irreversible process to reach a final state with volume 2V0 and temperature 2 to the power minus 2 over 5 T0. Find the entropy change between these two states. The temperature is moderately low so that vibrational states are not yet excited. So uh, for an ideal diatomic gas we have uh, CV is equal to 5 over 2 R we have rotational states and translational states excited CP is equal to 7 over 2 R and the gamma is 7 over 5 which is the ratio cp to cv that is equal to 1.4 and gamma minus 1 is 0 0.4 okay now consider the initial and final states of this process so uh, now consider the initial and final states Uh, we have an initial state V0, T0. The final state is 2V0, 2 to the power minus 2 over 5, T0. So let's note that if we have T0, V0 to gamma minus 1, uh, that is T0 times v0 to the power 0 0.4 what would be the final temperature if it is 2v0 to the power 0 0.4 we see that the final temperature would be uh, t0 uh, and we would have 2 to the power minus 0 0.4 which means that the final temperature would be t0 2 to the power minus 2 over 5 for an adiabatic process. So I discovered that these two initial and final states can be that of an adiabatic process. So one can go, one can go from initial to final state uh, with a reversible adiabatic process because in adiabatic processes tv to gamma minus 1 is a constant since we have dq reversible is equal to 0 in the adiabatic process the entropy change for this irreversible process is uh, should also be equal to 0 now let's say that you did not recognize that this is an adiabatic process and you want to use an alternative process. So let's talk about an alternative method. I start with V0, T0. I go to the final state V0, 2 to the power minus 2 over 5, T0. So what type of process is this? This is an isovolumetric process and in the second step i go from v0 2 to the power minus 2 over 5 t0 to the final state 2 v0 2 to the power minus 2 over 5 t0 this would be an isothermal process and the entropy change ds is the q reversible divided by the temperature T. So in the first process, what is my uh, DQ? The infinitesimal amount of heat I'm adding, it is, because it's isovolumetric, it's NCV dt, and this is an 
uh, diatomic gas so 5 over 2 r was my cv 5 over 2 and r delta t or dt uh, for a small amount of heat added so the entropy change in this first process would be the integral from t0 to the temperature 2 to minus 2 over 5 t0 5 over 2 and r dt over t so that's dq reversible over t this would be 5 over 2 and r natural logarithm of 2 to the power minus 2 over 5 so this would be equal to minus n r natural logarithm 2 in the second step i'm going from uh, v0 2 to minus 5 2 over 5 t0 to 2 v0 uh, with an isothermal process so this would be a pv equals nrt and uh, for pressure i can substitute uh, nrt so let's remember that for an isothermal process the internal energy change is uh, zero isothermal and that that means the uh, work done on the gas plus the heat added to the gas is zero so the heat added to the gas is minus work done on the gas or uh, dq is uh, plus p dv so this would be one over t integral from initial volume v0 to final volume 2v0 uh, the work done nrt over v is the pressure pdv and uh, the temperatures will cancel here because i have a constant temperature process this would be nr natural logarithm 2 so what would be the final entropy change process 1 plus process 2 gives me nr natural logarithm 2 uh, minus nr natural logarithm 2 0 so the final answer uh, would be the same okay so in this problem we have recognized uh, an initial state of v0 t 2 v0 and final state of 2 v0 2 to the minus 2 over 5 t0 as a possible uh, process uh, parts of states of a possible adiabatic reversible process because in an adiabatic process t v to gamma minus one is a constant so the uh, if you write t zero v zero to gamma minus one where gamma is seven over five for the diatomic gas with no vibrational states uh, this is t final two v zero to the power uh, zero point four we see that t final is t0 times 2 to the power minus 0 0.4. Uh, so that is minus 2 over 5. Uh, so if we can go from initial to final state with a reversible adiabatic process, the entropy change must be 0. Alternatively, we can do an isovolumetric step first to the final temperature and isothermal step second to the final volume. In the isovolumetric step, dq is ncv dt, so ncv dt over uh, t, where cv is 5 over 2r for the diatomic gas. Uh, we obtain minus nr natural logarithm 2, and for isothermal process, the heat added is uh, work done by the gas pdv, so it's integral nrt over vdv, 1 over t t's cancel and we obtain nat and our natural logarithm 2 the total entropy change turns out to be again zero